Hello, this is John. Welcome back to another food review with me. Today I'm going to be doing somewhat of a re-review, but uh, I did a little research on my initial review. Um, just to give you some background, this is the Burger King Steakhouse King Sandwich. Um, just came back, actually. Um, I say this is a re-review because I've done the Steakhouse uh, King Sandwich before back in 2017. I uh, just did some research on my old video. I gave it a nine and a half, but then I was looking um, at some other things that came up when I searched for, because I didn't remember if it was Steakhouse or A1 for Burger King. So Burger King also had an A1 mozzarella burger. It was basically the same thing. Had the bacon, the onions, A1 sauce, except had mozzarella instead of regular American cheese. Um, and I gave that one a 7. That was back in 2015. And then they also had an, an A1 uh, Tender Crisp sandwich, which is their big chicken sandwich they they do. Um, and I gave that one an 8. So we're looking between a 7 all the way up to 9.5 on these different A1 steakhouse type burgers that uh, uh, Burger King has came up with. Um, and actually, watching my Steakhouse King uh, original review, I noticed that I said something about uh, an A1 cheeseburger they had before. I'm not sure if I was talking about that A1 mozzarella burger or if they had a different A1 cheeseburger. Because I didn't say mozzarella. I just said A1 cheeseburger. Um, but I don't have a review for that one. Uh, so I must have just had it for like lunch one day or something. But anyway... That's why I say this is actually a re-review, but it's kind of like a re-re-review because Burger King has had this A1 sauce on burgers a lot, apparently. Um, but let's go ahead and try it out. Maybe it's better, different, whatnot. Um, I did get this delivered. Um, we are in a pandemic, so try not to go out as much as I can. But here we go, here's the burger. I can already smell the A1 sauce. You can see all the different sauces and cheeses that stuck to the wrapper in different places. Let's deconstruct it. I thought for sure I ordered a single. Let's see. Steakhouse King single. There are two patties here. That's a free extra patty for me. Alright, so let's see what's on the top. We got... Looks like about three half strips of bacon. Underneath that we have some... Like fried onions, some mayo, some A1 sauce. You got your burger with cheese in the middle. Nothing on the bottom. So, there's no vegetables on this at all. It is, well... If you count fried onions as a vegetable, I technically that's a vegetable. But it's just meat, cheese, bacon, and uh, A1, and mayo. Can't be that bad. Let's go ahead and taste it. Plenty meaty. That's all there is in there, meat. It's not the crispiest bacon I've ever had. But you gotta say, this, is, this was cooked and then delivered. Fast food is really usually meant to be ordered and then eaten real fast. But it does have, the bacon still has some crunch to it. The A1 and the onion kind of melt together and make this like sweet, smoky, oniony A1 sauce flavor. You occasionally get like a little tangy zip. From the mayo that's on here. And some bacon slathered in A1 mayo. Part of me is happy that I got that double, even though I were single. But also part of me is saying, you ordered that single to save those little bit of calories, you know. You're trying to make some better decisions here, right? Go with the single. You don't need the double. They give you the double anyway. 
So should I be happy or not? You tell me. Anyway, I think after watching my video before, trying it now, it tastes pretty much as I described it before. It uh, has a smoky, a uh, little bit of zip from the mayo, but overall, a pretty good burger. Bacon still crispy. Onions give it a little bit of sweetness with the sauce. I gave it a nine and a half out of ten before. Now I do think like it tastes pretty much the same, but maybe my standards have gotten a little bit better. Um. I'll say it is a 8.1. It's very decent. It's a very good burger. Um, it's not great. And it's not exciting. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, they didn't have anything else, so that was it for this video. The Steakhouse King sandwich. Oh, that's one thing. In the original, they didn't call it the King. It was just the Steakhouse. No, wait, they did call it the King. Scratch that. It was when it was the A1 mozzarella that they didn't have the King at the end of it. Um, but by 2017, they definitely did start calling all their new sandwiches Kings all the time. Also, uh, in, my, in my researching, I also ran across when they started doing the extra long burgers all the time. Um... That was a neat uh, year or so that they they try to do everything extra long instead of king size. Burger King is at least trying something. Um, old is new again, I guess. Anyway, I think I'm rambling at this point. So, like this video. Subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more videos like this occasionally new fast food stuff um, interesting products that I see advertised on social media and uh, just overall curiosities I have um, maybe something you've heard of might be not maybe this is the first time you've heard of the sandwich if so you probably don't watch much else anyway see you guys later bye